Hi, my name is Natabi, and today I want to talk to you about 10 things that I'm looking forward to in The Last of Us 2. Number 10, the environment. I cannot wait to explore the new maps and environments in The Last of Us 2. In the previous game, it ends with Ellie and Joel talking right by Tommy's settlement in Jackson County, Wyoming. So I think it's safe to say that that is where we're going to start. However, it has been confirmed that The Last of Us 2 will mostly take place in Seattle. The environments are going to be bigger, better, and a lot more detailed. It's certainly going to make exploration in a post-apocalyptic setting super dynamic, and I literally cannot wait for that. Number 9. Weather and Season Changes With the trailers that have been released so far, we have seen a multitude of weather changes. Neil Druckmann mentions two different seasons being experienced in his Inside the Demo interview, so it might be safe to assume that there will be different seasons in the game, which to think about is thrilling. For example, in the trailer with the Seraphites, we're introduced to a character that bears a striking resemblance to Ellie. In it, the rain is pouring, it is dark, and it is lush. But in the latest trailer, we see Dina and Ellie leaving the settlement to patrol the outskirts of Jackson, only to get caught in a blizzard. If the weather is going to be that dynamic and random, it's going to make confrontations with our enemies super fun to play around because we're going to be able to use the environments to our advantage or to our detriment, which is really exciting to think about. Number eight, meeting the cast. We know that the majority of this game is going to have us explore with an ally, just like we did when we played The Last of Us 1. Dina, Ellie's love interest, and Joel will play a big part in the game. Naughty Dog has also introduced us to a few other characters that I'm looking forward to. Yara and Lev, siblings who have left the Seraphites for unknown reasons, Jesse, Dina's ex-boyfriend, and Emily, a member of the religious cult who was set to wipe out all sin in the world after the outbreak. Apparently, they only make up a small number of the cast. Can you imagine that? I can't wait to see who else we're going to meet and what their impact is going to be like in the game. Number 7. Crafting Weapons and Upgrade System in The Last of Us, the crafting system was not very complex when you compare it to other games that have it. It had you cover the basics of melee weapon upgrading, shiv crafting, health kits, cocktails, nail bombs, and smoke bombs. With The Last of Us 2, however, Naughty Dog has completely revamped the system. We now get the opportunity to craft new recipes via the upgrade system and upgrade our guns on the workbench. This is a system that has been designed to set your Ellie apart from everyone else's. And that means my Ellie is going to be better than your Ellie, so <laughs> I'm excited. Number six, Ellie's upgraded mobility. Ellie can jump, squeeze through gaps, and go prone, enabling some sweet stealth gameplay, something that was not available in the previous game. The combat system has been enhanced, making Ellie's movements and interactions with weapons and cover a lot more dynamic. Hopefully by now, though, she'll be able to swim, because that, that was a big ass problem in the first game. <laughs> Number five, the thoughts and conversations Ellie is going to have when the player is exploring. <laughs> you feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my sex drink. One of my favorite things about The Last of Us was how Ellie, Joel, and everyone that was involved spoke to each other when you were roaming around. I'm pretty sure that was a very pivotal moment in gaming history. Never before had we ever had the opportunity to interact with one another on a more organic base. I mean, Nintendo created the first iterations of polished idol animation, but I really think Naughty Dog perfected the nuanced conversations that you get when exploring together. The Last of Us introduced us to a narrative in video games that astounded people. It floored me. And now I can't imagine what this game is going to introduce to us. How is it going to improve? Are the conversations going to have more inflections within them? Are things going to be more emotional? Is Ellie going to be as silly and goofy and as curious as she was in the first game? I don't know, but that's 100% something that I can't wait to see and experience. Number four, 
the way the game world interacts with you, the player. Long grass that you can hide in. You can use scent trails to redirect dogs away from you. I cannot wait to bear witness to the way things will be affected by one another. Like when the aggression of the characters is applied onto inanimate objects. How is the door going to break? The footprints that we leave behind. The way the snow is going to brush off the tree when we push up against it. The mud and the dirt that will increase the longer that we're in the bush. Naughty Dog is known to have an attention to detail that was uncontested for so long. And with The Last of Us 2 being their latest game that they're developing, I'm beside myself with excitement to see what they've done with it. Number 3. New Enemy Types So far, we have been introduced to a few new enemy types. We have got the Washington Liberation Force, also known as the WLF, who have trained dogs that can sniff out trespassers. We have the Seraphites, the religious group that we were introduced to last year, who want to purge the world of sin after the outbreak, and new zombie mutations, one being the Shambler, a tankier zombie that explodes and leaves a layer of toxins behind when destroyed. And to stick with the basics, all the zombies and humans that we have previously been introduced to have been improved to be smarter when engaging with us. That alone is going to heighten and enhance the gameplay for us. Each engagement with our opposition is going to be heated and it's going to be tense, and I'm so stoked for that. Number 2. Understanding Naughty Dog's Definition of Hate A revenge story, The Last of Us 2 is about destructive violence. I'm really looking forward to playing this through the pursuit of justice. The challenges, the emotional ups and downs, the silence of the hardships, and the way Ellie will journey to resolve all of these issues, I can't wait to see the climactic arc of how Ellie and the cast are going to venture through this narrative. But I can confidently say that the story is going to be as impactful as the first, considering the history Naughty Dog has with the games that they develop. I'm so, so excited for that. Number one, playing as Ellie. And finally, playing as Ellie. Ellie has to be by far my favorite character of all time. She is someone I relate to. Her story with Joel moved me to my core. Her challenges, her triumphs, they were all something I found myself profoundly moved by. I cannot wait to meet the people that she has relationships with. I can't wait to see her growth. I can't wait to see her insecurities, her anger, and her conviction. But above all, I cannot wait for everyone else to experience those things too. Those are the top 10 things I cannot wait for The Last of Us 2. What about you? What is something you can't wait for? What are you most looking forward to? And what are you hoping Naughty Dog has done to make The Last of Us 2 as good as, if not, better than The Last of Us? If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and anticipate more content. I put up videos every day.